Welcome to the second episode of Hyundai She's Electric. We're recording this episode from Bundjalung Country at the Hyundai Surfing Australia High Performance Centre. Today, we go behind the scenes of the competition that is powering the potential of women surfing in Australia. On the first episode, we talked to Annie Dos Santos about her incredible 9.4, fanned out with Chelsea Hedges on the couch and got insight on the Hyundai Bright Sparks from Phoebe Kane. This episode, we find out who has made Hyundai's Team Electric Top 5 now the competition has closed, and we'll have one of the top five qualifiers on the couch to get some more insight on their journey as a competitive surfer and the opportunities being created by sponsors such as Hyundai to expose the next wave of rising female athletes. And we catch up with former WSL Championship Tour competitor, big wave legend and recently crowned Guinness World Record holder, Laura Enova. But first, let's recap who has made Hyundai Team Electric. In fifth place, Rosie Smart with this 8.67. In fourth place, Quincy Simons with an 8.77. Third, we've got Will O'Hardy with an 8.80. In second place, Cole Durant with a 9.37. saw last week holding on to that first place Annie Dos Santos with this incredible 9.4. Congratulations to our incredible Hyundai Team Electric Top 5. All five athletes will be coming to the Hyundai Surfing Australia High Performance Centre for a three-day camp. Hyundai Team Electric will get access to expert coaching and gain national exposure, with the top surfer winning $5,000 cash and taking home the Hyundai She's Electric crown for 2024. The winner of Hyundai She's Electric will also receive a VIP experience with Laura Enova at the Hyundai Australian Board Riders Battle, taking place for the very first time at Burley on the Gold Coast in March this year. Speaking of Laura, we've got her on the phone. Let's chat to Laura about this incredible competitive season we've seen this year. Laura, welcome to the show. How are you going? I'm good, guys. Just down here sitting in my Santa Fe outside my house and chatting to you. I'm so excited and uh, miss you girls here down in Arabine, but love what you're doing and uh, love what you're doing for She's Electric and this amazing season. We love you too, Laura. And, you know, it's been such a great season so far. Um, what have you made of the Hyundai She's Electric season? Oh, I mean... I've just been blown away by all of the submissions. Firstly, thank you to every single girl that uh, that had submitted a video this season. I mean, yeah, just looking through them all, I just can't believe the talent we have coming through Australia and, and also just the the girls at grassroots levels just wanting to, you know, jump in and, and you know, give it a crack and, and submit their videos and push themselves. And uh, it's just amazing to see the talent and the, the talent we have coming through. And I've got to know, scores aside, what has been your favourite wave in this season's competition so far? Oh, gosh, it is so hard to just pick one wave. Um, I've just seen so many incredible, uh, you know, breakthrough performances and, you know, aerials and huge turns from so many girls. But I, I couldn't go past Annie Dos Santos's uh, barrel that she got at that secret uh, right hander. That was just like just just so much commitment. And she absolutely charged that. But, uh, you know, uh, Miller Brown doing some amazing surfing and uh, yeah, like just so many of the girls just uh, throwing their tails, doing these incredible incredible turns and airs I'm just like this is the next this is the next level this is the next gen and it's so exciting to watch what's your favorite wave been Whoa, that's oh hard. I loved Quincy's <laughs> Quincy's was amazing I also yes yeah. Quincy's was amazing as well yeah and Coral's was really yeah, strong too. I was about yeah. to say I was a huge fan of Coral Durant's wave as well yeah um, but the format is really cool and it's it's super different laws um what do you like most about it I just think it's 
the way it's open to absolutely anyone uh obviously you know we have an age limit and hopefully we can make that younger for some more younger girls to uh enter next year but uh you know just that that anyone like we saw we saw like girls that were just uh you know beginner to intermediate level submitting videos and just the way that everyone's getting around it and just pushing themselves and you know to make to make team electric it's going to be uh it's going to be so cool to see who can yeah who can make that team and get those top spots and we can all agree Annie's wave was pretty amazing and you and Annie are really paving the way right now for big wave surfing. Tell me more about that and how that feels for you and this kind of pathway of your career that you're going down. Yeah, I mean, I think, um, you know, when I sort of left competing to dive into big wave surfing and sort of surfing those waves of consequence, uh, you know, it was scary. It was scary to sort of take that plunge away from what I'd worked my whole career for, which was to compete and be on tour. and. And then I think um, what I was most proud of is just, you know, seeing the next generation of girls like Annie uh, and all these other girls coming through now and, and surfing and being so confident in these barreling, uh, scary waves. And they're doing it with so much ease. And uh, that's just, you know, the level of, of women surfing that's coming through the next generation. They, they I guess it's, it's, it's really cool for me to feel like they got to see me do that and then start doing that at a younger age and just get better than me at it um, very quickly. So it's, it's really cool. Let's just talk about the Guinness World Record. I mean, we, we, I want to know about it. I know Jessie does. Yeah, I know, we're <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Yeah. How, um, how amazing is it when moments, I guess, like this transcend the sport and I guess you're recognized in history, Laura? I know, and I, I never set out uh, to do that when I when I left the tour, and I just wanted to do big wave surfing because I loved it, and I just felt in my heart that I had to go down that road and that path, and yeah, for it to end up how how it has, and to come away having a Guinness World Record for the the biggest wave paddled by a woman, I just I pinched myself, but I'm also so proud of myself, and it took a lot of trust and a lot of. Uh, you know, overcoming fears and doubts and like so many times where I was sitting at home watching like all the girls compete on tour or on the Challenger Series or QS and, and be like, am I making the biggest mistake and sort of sitting there waiting for these swells and being in a sort of in-between and so it just took a lot of, you know, I guess trust and faith in myself that I was just following the right path and even if I didn't get a world record uh just catching that wave was the biggest gift of all and even if it had nothing attached to it um that moment for me when I paddled for that wave uh was sort of a monumental life-changing moment in my career where I yeah I did it myself and you know I've had so many people that that helped me and pushed me to get to that that spot in my life but when that wave came it was like it was all me it was it was me that said go Laura let's go and and let's give this a, a shot and it worked out well it worked out until I got exploded at the bottom of it but uh <laughs> it's um yeah that riding that wave was like nothing I've ever felt in my life goosebumps well Laura we love you we've looked up to you since we we're little grommies surfing at Narrabeen with you so thank you so much for coming on the show and being a part of yet another amazing Hyundai She's Electric season I know so so excited to be a part of this with that uh, with you girls you guys are paving the way as well and uh how good is female surfing let's go awesome thank you Laura thanks for having me girls Let's take a look at all the Hyundai She's Electric Bright Spark winners. Each of these entries were chosen by our all-female judging team for the display of innovation and creativity in their surfing. All 10 of our Bright Spark award winners surfed away with a GoPro Hero 11 thanks to Hyundai. After the break, we catch up with Quincy Simons, one of our top five team electric surfers.
Today, She's Electric, where we're lucky enough to be joined today by Quincy Simons, also known as the Flying Squirrel and one of the Team Electric Top 5. Welcome. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. It's such a great experience. Quincy, I'm really excited to know about your wave into the Hyundai She's Electric this season. Tell yeah. me about it. Yeah, so I was fortunate enough to get this wave at Kira and it was my first wave that was a proper wave at Kira and I was so happy to get it. I was out there with uh, Mick Fanning, I was out there with the Harrington brothers, there was so many locals out there and they, we all saw this wave coming and I was just, uh, I was inside all of them so I decided to take it and it turned out amazing and I couldn't have been happier. I got a couple of other really good ones in this surf, but this was the highlight of the basically the year <laughs> for me. And we've been lucky enough to see a few of your entries as well. You also got another crazy barrel that you put in, but this one scored a little bit higher. So I want to know about your surfing journey from start to finish. Tell us how it started and tell us how it's going. So I started surfing when I was four, so that's nearly 12 years ago. Hi, my name's Quincy. I'm also called the Flying Squirrel. This is nuts, so and he goes nuts. Had a lot of super fun waves and some really great experiences all over Australia and meeting so many great people. I've uh, lucky enough to surf with some of the greats like Mick Fanning. I've surfed with Steph Gilmore, who's now well the greatest female surfer in history. So you learn a lot from watching them surf at Snapper and D-Bar, and it just it's a great place, and you've got great role models everywhere that just helps you progress through surfing. And what role has the Surfing Australia High Performance Program had in your competitive surfing? And I guess, what do you think competitive surfing has outside of the water? What do you have to bring to the table? Yeah, so I've been coming to Surfing Australia now for I think about six years and everyone is so amazing. All the coaches are so knowledgeable. Getting to train with people like Chelsea Hedges, like former world champions, Kate Wilkins. It, it really does help you with learning about competitive surfing and competitive mindset. And again, you come down here and you can surf with some of the greats like Steph Gilmore, Tyler Wright. You get to see all of them. It's just, it really helps with your progressive surfing and your knowledge about competitive surfing and strategic like capabilities and stuff. And it's really useful. <laughs> You've touched on role models a few times now and I am curious to know who your role models are, not only in the water based on like style and what you do on a wave, but who your role models are on land and who you aspire to be like. Yeah, so I've got a few different role models, but I'd say at the moment uh, Nathan Florence and the Florence brothers are probably my favourite surfers around. Just I love watching their different approaches to everything. You've got John John, who's a two-time world champion, and you've got Nathan Florence, who's straight away from the competitive surfing side, but's travelling the world surfing every kind of wave imaginable and really pushing the boundaries on what people are thinking is a makeable wave and what's surfable, and just it's just mind-blowing to watch. <laughs> And I want to touch back on your entry wave as well. How long did you have to wait for that one? Um, I think I waited maybe half an hour or an hour. I paddled out at about 5.30 in the morning, I think. So first light before everyone was out there and I was lucky enough to get that wave before it got too busy and yeah, came in once it got busy because I was happy. I was, <laughs> I was like a couple waves and I'm good, especially at Kira. It's a wave where if you can get a good one, you should be happy with whatever you can get. So I was fortunate enough to get an amazing wave. <laughs> And courtesy of that, you have locked yourself a spot in the top five for the Hyundai She's Electric. What are you expecting to get out of the camp? Yeah, so I'm ex it's going to be a great time getting to surf with all the other girls and really seeing how everyone surfs in different waves. And I've met them all before and they're all great people. And it's just a lot of, it's a really fun environment and it's an amazing prize. So it's, uh, it's going to be a fun camp and there's going to be a lot of progression and yeah, there's going to be some pretty good surfing to witness. Well, it's been so great having you and learning about your story and just, I mean, watching you surf such excellent waves. So thank you so much for chatting with us and um, yeah, being a part of Hyundai She's Electric. We're excited to see you at the camp. Yeah, thanks so much for having me, guys. It's been such an awesome experience and I'll see you all at the camp. <laughs> Yeah, looking forward to it. Well, that's it for this episode. On the next episode, we find out all about the Hyundai She's Electric Camp and the $5,000 winner-takes-all prize. See you next time.